So ladies and gentlemen, you are getting a little Triple D history right here. This is the first time that the car has been in a parking garage. Well, where am I? I'm in downtown Boise, Idaho, and I'm in a parking garage because you can't park out front because it's an area known as 8th and Main where everybody is walking through and visiting restaurants and shops. Why am I here, you ask? Well, because I hear that there's a Pakistani Indian restaurant that is off the hook. This is Taj Mahal. Lam Shank for G1. Taj Mahal is the place that we can come back over and over. I'll lose samosa for you. I mean, this is as close to what you would find if you went back to Pakistan. This is mom's home cooking. <laughs> Technically, it's Sohail and Furha Ishaq's home cooking. And they're not only dishing out the flavor, but they're also teaching this western town a thing or two about the native Pakistani cuisine. It's one of my favorite types of food, and we don't see it enough. I think it gets blended into Indian, Middle Eastern food. But what is the difference of Pakistani food? Pakistan is more on the meat side, beef and lamb and goat. Karahi goat is also ready. The goat karahi is very tender, really absorbs all of the flavors in the sauce. I take the naan, dip it in, get all the juices into the naan, grab a piece of meat, just have at it. But what are we making first, Chef? Goat karahi, olive oil. Ginger and garlic, the raw onion. Salt in it, cayenne pepper, turmeric, cumin, coriander, fresh ginger, bone in goat. Very lean, love the rich flavor of it. As you know, I raise goats. How long are we gonna cook this down? Hour and a half minimum. What are we making now? Dough for the naan. Okay. Salt, baking powder, sugar. Dry active yeast. Water in it, cold milk, oil in it, and flour. Now, how long are we gonna let this mix? Eight to 10 minutes, portion it, and then uh, we start making the naan. Okay. Flour on it. Now our dough ball is ready for the stretch. What temperature do you think this is at? 400 degrees. 400 degrees. There you go. Easy peasy. Now getting it off is a different story. Fresh naan in here. Now we're gonna make the goat karahi. Habaneros, fresh serrano. That's gonna be nice and not hot. Fresh cilantro, fresh tomatoes, goat karahi, cilantro. So the fresh naan, the karahi. And you're in heaven. Whenever somebody tells me that they don't like goat, I tell them, I don't think you've had goat prepared the right way. When we started serving goat, people had no idea how delicious this meat is. The fresh naan, there's just no beating that. Everything we eat with naan. Morning, naan, and night. <laughs> Go karai for ya. This is the most delicious piece of meat that you could ever take a bite of. 